Life is a big school. We all have to learn. Eurystheus ordered Hercules to go and exterminate a flock of vicious birds at Stymphalian Lake in the region of Arcadia. The birds had made their nests around the lake in such numbers that no one could tell how many there were. They had been driven there long ago by a pack of wolves, and the more they were crowded together, the more they multiplied. These were huge birds, like eagles, with beaks and claws made of brass as sharp as knives. They ate any kind of animal, including humans, and no one dared to fish in the vast lake because of them. The most terrifying thing about them was their feathers, which were long as arrows and made of brass. They could shoot their sharp feathers down from the sky onto their prey on the ground. Livestock grazing on the meadows were often attacked by them and killed, and then eaten or taken away to their lairs. Hercules prayed for Athena's help. The goddess went straight to the forge of the god of fire, Hephaestus, and had him make two brass castanets for Hercules. She showed him how to use them to destroy the birds. Hercules took the two brass castanets to Stymphalian Lake and made a loud noise with them, causing the birds to fly out of their nests. However, these were not ordinary animals. They flew up high and circled around Hercules, shooting a volley of brass feathers at him. Hercules calmly sat down and hid in the two big castanets. None of the birds' attacks could harm him. He waited for the birds to shoot all their precious feathers before he began to fight back. He pulled out his bow and shot poisonous arrows at the flock. They died and fell down like leaves falling from trees. The surviving birds, terrified, flew straight to the setting sun and took refuge in the Pontus Euxinus Sea. From then on, no one saw the flock of vicious birds returning to their old nests. The people came back to fish in the vast lake and loved it again.